Now I'm going to center my nav and style it up a little bit. So first, let's center it. Go into brackets. In the previous video, I moved the nav selectors underneath header and before footer. So now I'm going to add a new nav selector to affect the whole element and I'm going to center it. I save that change and when I look at it in Chrome, now this is centered. But it's a little blah. Let's make it look a little better while we're thinking about the nav. So we probably want to give it a little color and a little space. So let's put color in first. And this is on NavULLI. I'll change the background color to a selected color. from my palette. I'm going to save that. Refresh and you can see now I have this orange color. Well the text isn't looking so hot, it's kind of hard to read. I already visited those pages. Also, I can observe that the text is right up next to the, to the background color. So I think I want to add a little padding to make it a little more legible, easier to read. So now I'm going to go back into brackets and for the padding, I think I will add 10 pixels, so padding. Ten pixels all the way around. And to make it stand out for the for the lettering, for the link, I'm going to make the color a higher contrast. Remember, contrast is one of those design principles. So that's a lighter color. And we also want it to be affected if that website if that link has already been visited, we want the same color. And this is the color of the text. So basically, if I have visited this link, then I want the color to be the same. I don't want the color to change, which is the default. Normally it changes it into this bluish color. So let's take a look at what we've got. I'm saving the changes, so I think I've just changed, added a little padding and a little color. Okay, it's a little easier to read. Well, wouldn't it be nice if when I'm hovering over the link that it changed colors? Okay, 
I'll do that then. So when I'm hovering over, I want the color to be a little different. The background color. Oops. So I'll start with Navuel Li A. So for the link, if I have, if I am hovering over it, what do I want to do? I want to change the background color. And I'm going to change it to to this maroonish color. When I go to that, to uh, my page and refresh, so I hover over, wait a second, it's only hovering over, it's only changing the color on my text. It's not changing the color on the rest of the background. So I'm going to have to take care of that too, so I don't have an unsightly gap. So it's basically the same rule, same color. And it's when I hover over the LI element. So I can either do this again with hover or I can plug it in here. So I'm going to choose to plug it in here. And it's almost like this rule except not the A element, only the LI when I hover over it. Let's see, I've saved that. Oops. Refresh. And there we go. So we can tell which of these we are hovering over. But maybe we could do something to make the text show up just a little bit more, more than just the contrast. Because it kind of looks the same as the, the main text also. So let me go back to brackets. And for the list element, I want to change the font size. I'm going to change it a little smaller and I'm going to play a game with a letter spacing and make it a little wider, 0.3m. So that's going to be the space between the letters. So I'll save that, go to my web page, refresh, and you can see that it stands out a little bit more because it's, it's shorter because you don't want it taking up too much space, but then it's wider and you can tell which link you're currently hovering over. All right. That is nav. And next, what we'll be working on is article. And just to make sure the nav works on the other pages, go to WebD page, go to project page, and you can see it was fixed. So 
we'll do article in the next video.